My name is Melissa Lemos and I'm doing my speech on CPR. First, CPR can be very helpful and can help save a life, but if performed wrong, it can be very detrimental to the victim. If you see someone who's not breathing, you first look to make sure that they're not breathing, then you listen by putting your ear to their mouth and make sure they're not breathing, and last, you check their pulse on their neck to make sure they're not breathing. Attempt to wake the victim. If the victim is not breathing or is gasping for air, call 911 immediately. If someone else is with you, have them call 911. Next, you need to begin the chest compressions. If the victim is not breathing, place the heel of your hand in the middle of the victim's chest. Put the other hand on top of it with your fingers interlaced. You want your hands in between the victim's nipples. Compress the chest at least two inches and allow the chest to rise before your next compression. At a rate of, you need to compress the, do compressions at a rate of about 100 pushes per minute. Perform 30 chest compressions. At this rate, it should take about 18 seconds. It's normal to feel pops and snaps while giving these chest compressions. Whatever you do, do not stop because it could make it worse for the victim. Next, you need to begin the rescue breathing. After about 30 compressions, open the airway using the head tilt chin lift method. Use a CPR mask if available. Give the victim a breath big enough to make the chest rise. Then you need to let the chest fall. Repeat the, the rescue breath once more. If the chest does not rise the first, at first, then reposition the head and try again. If you have access to an automated external defibrillator and AED machine, continue CPR until you can attach it to the victim for breathing. Continue chest compressions. After two minutes of chest compressions and rescue breaths, stop compressions and rescue breaths and recheck to see if the victim is breathing. If not, continue CPR. Repeat this process, checking for breathing every two minutes. That's about every five cycles, until the victim starts breathing. Once the victim starts breathing, you can stop the CPR. Once again, this is very important that you perform it right, or it could be very detrimental to the victim.